Miami. I'm your girl Lisa Gay Shakespeare and today I'm taking you on a mini tour around my beautiful city to show you a few of my favorite places. All right, you ready? Let's go. Okay, so the first stop on the tour is Florida King State Park. And I know, I know, it's not the first thing that pops in your head when you think of Miami. But hey, I like the unpopular spots because guess what? That's where you find the hidden gems. So, let's go check out this park. Come on! Located at the southern end of Key Biscayne, Cape Florida State Park is an important part of South Florida's history. So this historic lighthouse was built in 1825 and it's actually the oldest structure in Miami. That's some pretty cool history. Woo. We're almost there, 109 steps. I think we have like six more. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is beautiful. <laughs> Like she said, best kept secret in Miami. Come to Bill Baggs, Cape Florida State Park. You heard the man, <laughs> gotta come check it out. And with more than a mile of sandy beachfront, you can go for a walk on the beach, sunbathe, or take a dip in the warm waters. So that was pretty fun, although my legs are killing me. But hey, let's go check out the next stop. All right guys, so we're now at the historic Vizcaya Museum and Gardens, and I love this place. Every time I come here, I feel like I'm transported back in time. Influenced from European architecture, the Vizcaya was described as the finest private house ever built in America in the 1900s. And after exploring the lavish home, you have to step outside into the beautiful lush gardens where you'll find grottos and bridges right on the Biscayne Bay. By the way, if you're a newly engaged or just a romantic staff like me, the Vizcaya is a beautiful location to get married. Hey, just saying. <laughs> Alright guys, let's go to the next stop. Now, if you like street art and culture like me, then this spot is for you. Wynwood Walls, one of my favorite places in Miami. Known for its many colorful and captivating huge murals, Wynwood Walls is a popular spot in the city, showcasing art from some of the world's best known street artists. Plus, you can't help but walk around and take a selfie because every wall is literally super cool. All right, you can't come to Miami and not experience the vibrant Cuban culture right here in Little Havana. Located on 8th Street, locally called Calle Ocho, Little Havana is a vibrant street known for its popular ventanitas, colorful festivals, music, and domino park, where older Cubans gather to play a game or two. Alright, so if you're in Little Havana, you've got to get some Cuban grub, and I'm starving! So let's go to El Pop restaurant and check out their menu. I'm gonna try this cafecito. Mm, it's very strong and very sweet. I like it. All right. And what would you recommend to eat here? What's like the most popular food? The mafia has the pork chops. They're marinated for, for 12 hours and then they're deep fried. I think I'm gonna try the pork chops. So I took Daniel's suggestion and I got masitas de puerco, plátanos maduro, y moro. So let's check it out. So that was delish and I'm stuck. Now it's time to head to our last spot. Can you guys guess where that is? Let's find out. And of course the last stop on the tour is the famous South Beach. Because you can't come to Miami and not come to Sobe, as us locals say. Thousands of tourists flock to Miami for its beautiful white sandy beach where you can lay out, soak up the sun, and simply live the Miami life. And that's a wrap guys. I hope you enjoyed this mini tour of my favorite places in Miami. And hey, if you're ever in town, holla at your girl. I'll show you around. Adios!